D'Amelio here with Mahalo Daily. It's only day one of Comic-Con, and we've already got a ton of great footage. We got exclusive interviews, panels, and footage of TV shows and films that you're not going to see for a while, but you can see it here first on Mahalo Daily. But enough about me rambling on. Let's check out this awesome footage right now. Roll it! What's the number one thing we can look forward to in the new season of Knight Rider? Uh, kit tra the car. Oh, yeah, well, he transforms into like a pickup truck. It's the coolest thing ever. Oh, there's a lot of butt kicking. It's awesome. Some fun. I mean, it's a it's, it's a kick-ass car. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's uh, enjoyable, and I think sort of wish fulfillment. Can you tell me how you're going to bring Jason Statham back when he died in the first movie? No. Well, no, he didn't die in the first movie. Let me tell you what happens. I'm going to break it all down for you. He's been fitted with an, an electronic artificial heart that runs on electricity subcutaneously through the skin, wirelessly transmitting, okay? When the battery pack breaks, the only way he can keep the heart beating is by keeping himself electrically charged, which happens in a variety of ways. And that becomes crank two, high voltage. We're going to shoot the Chevy, probably with a couple fake trailers, and that's either in the theatrical here or just straight to video here at theatrical overseas, and then do part two and three as a double feature. So it'd be Machete Kills, and Machete Kills, and Machete Kills again. <laughs> You may recognize Felicia Day from the hit online series, The Guild, but she's doing a lot of other great projects online right now. Some other new hit series, maybe you've heard of it, Dr. Horrible, the sing-along blog, Penny the Laundromat Girl. How did you get that role? Um, strangely enough, it was uh, because I did Buffy. I did uh, season seven of Buffy, and Joss uh, and I, you know, kept in touch. And I saw him on Strike Line, and he had seen The Guild and was thinking about doing something with the internet. And then four months later, I get this random email like, hey, can you sing? Jay. And, I'm, and I was a little like freaked out. I said, yes, why would you ask? And that's how I got the role of Penny. I found Clark Duke walking around Comic-Con, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he's working on these days after the show, Clark and Michael. What's going on with you? Hey, everybody. Um, I'm here at Comic-Con to promote this movie, Sex Drive, that comes out October 10th in movie theaters. What's it like to see Spider-Man? It's nice. <laughs> when the heck are we going to see a game where Stanley is the star? <laughs> Hi, this is uh, Jacob Lindwall, my six year old son, and he's a big fan of the video games and a very big, very big fan of Stanley, and he has a question for Stan. Oh, cool. Hey, I'm Well, that wraps it up for day one at Comic-Con 2008. If there's anything you want to see while we're here, be sure to leave us a comment at MahaloDaily.com. I'm Leah D'Amelio. We'll see you next time.